second city in Israel is the city of Tel Aviv, near the Mediterranean Sea. And in Tel Aviv live today 400,000 people. Four hundred thousand. Third city of Israel is the city of Haifa. Haifa is a very uh, big city, sit on the sea, and we have here a big harbor in Haifa. And in Haifa live two hundred seventy thousand people. Two hundred seventy. Namjua tatu kukuwa ni wana wanyesha pale juu na ito Haifa ambapo wanaishi watu laki mbili na sabini elfu ni mjua tatu kwa ukubwa By the way, you know what the difference between the city of Jerusalem and the city of Tel Aviv? Okay, to Jerusalem you come to pray to Tel Aviv you go to play this is the difference between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Okay. Around Israel, we have Israel has border with four countries. In the west, we have a border with Egypt. You came from Egypt, you enter through Tava border and you enter to Israel. So this is the border with Egypt. In the east, we have a border with Jordan. The mountains that you see on your right side, those are a tall mountain located in Jordan, in Jordan Kingdom. Amenesema nchi hii inapakana na nchi nne. Ah kwa mfano hapa ni nchi ya Misri pale tulipotoka. Ah tukapita uh, kwenye hapo uh, kwenye hiyo taba, taba inaitwa Taba. Na upande huu wa kulia mwaramani yako ni nchi ya Yordani na tulionyeshwa ile milima ya Yordan pamoja na ile miji tuliona upande ule wa kulia kwetu. Alafu Right. In the northeast we have a border with Syria and in the north we have a border with Lebanon. Kayo upande huu wa wa kaskazini kuna Lebanon, alafu kaskazini mashariki Syria hii hapa. Syria, Lebanon, Misri, and Jordan. The regime. What they want? South. Regime in Israel. The regime in Israel is a parliamentary democracy. And as any democracy, democracy stands on three legs: the parliament, the Israeli parliament called the Knesset, and in the Knesset sit 120 elected people by the people of Israel. Anasema mfumo wa mamlaka ya kiutawala ndani ya nchi hii ni mamlaka inayoitwa ya kidemokrasia. Na kwa kawaida mamlaka ya kidemokrasia inasimama katika nguzo uh, kuu tatu. Uh, moja ni bunge na katika bunge huchaguliwa watu na ishirini na wananchi wa Israeli. The second leg of democracy in Israel is the uh, government. In the government sit today 25 ministers. Na muhimili wa pili wa mamlaka ya kiutawala katika nchi hii inaitwa serikali. Katika serikali kuna wizara 25. And the third leg of democracy is uh, the law authority. Law, the law of Saudi. Na muhimili wa tatu ni mamlaka ya kisheria. 
the main industry for export in Israel. First industry for export is high-tech industry. High-tech. Alafu, katika nchi hii, chanzo kikuu cha kuuza bidha nje au bidha wanazo zinyuza nje chanzo kikuu ni eneo la teknolojia inaitwa high tech high technology ubunifu mbalimbali labda kama makompyuta haya teknolojia mbalimbali wanazibuni alafu wanaziuza nchi za nje tunatengeneza hela kwa njia hii Second industry for export in Israel is uh, diamond and jewelry. We don't have diamond in Israel. We import a uh, diamond from outside. We polish them and then we make with them uh, jewelry. And we this is the second export for uh, industry for export. Like in Chanzo Chapili, Chakuza, Bida, Ninja. Yani nchi inauza bidhaa nje bidhaa ya pili ni uh, diamond ni almasi na vito vya thamani lakini anasema wao hawana almasi ndani ya nchi yao wanachofanya ni kuiagiza kutoka nchi zingine nadhani pamoja na Tanzania alafu ikishafika hapa wanaipiga piga brush wanatengeneza vito wanaviandika vimetengenezwa hapa alafu wanauza nchi za nje look to the left of the bus you see a, a field with solar panel. You see the black panel over there? Yeah, now you can see it on the left side of the bus. A field with a solar panel. Today we're producing 2% of the energy in Israel with solar panels. Angalia upande wako wa kushoto kuna haya madude meusi meusi yanayoonekana. Aibo ni bifaa vya kutengeneza umeme kwa kutumia nishati ya jua. Na anasema leo katika nchi hii wanatengeneza asilimia mbili ya umeme wao kutoka kwenye jua kwa kutumia hivyo uh, vifaa tulivyoviona hapo. Do you have solar panels in uh, Tanzania? Yes. 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 Israel won in the next 10 years to produce a uh, 20% of the energy in Israel by uh, green energy. Green energy like solar panels or other kind of uh, making uh, energy. Anasema malengo ya nchi hii ni kuwa na uwezo wa kutengeneza umeme wao kwa asilimia 20 kutoka kwenye kitu kinachoitwa nguvu nguvu kwa nishati ya kijani kama vile uh, umeme wa jua nishati ya jua na nishati zingine yani ukiacha labda mafuta na nyuklia kutengeneza umeme Okay we coming back to Israel In Israel we have two national languages First language is the Hebrew language and the second national language in Israel is Arabic Na sema katika taifa hii lugha za mawasiliano ni mbili lugha ya kwanza ni kiebrania na lugha ya pili ni kiarabu ndio lugha zao za mawasiliano education in israel all the uh, children in israel have free education the government pay for the children education until the age of 18 anasema mfumo wa kutoa elimu ni elimu bure kwa watoto wote walio chini ya umri wa miaka 18 na kusomeshwa bure na serikali mpaka miaka 18 The education in Tanzania also free? 